Hey folks, Matt from Right of the Image.com. Really interesting post over on Visual Science Lab recently. And uh, if you haven't been over there, Kirk Tuck, really good writer. Um, actually, he's a writer as well. He writes thrillers. I've written one myself, so I found it kind of interesting when he came out with one after I'd done one too, um, just because it's uh, kindred spirits, photographers and writers. So uh, it's just interesting. Uh, in any case, Great blog over there, and Kirk's always interesting to follow. A lot of visual content, too. He's always posting, likes to do walkabouts, so he's always always posting shots from cameras, something I should probably do more of. Um, on, on the other hand, his kids are a little older than mine, so maybe more free time. Uh, he says uh, in this blog post, how small a camera do you really want? Is there a smaller size limit that makes a camera unusable for you? Then he goes on to talk about various cameras and whatnot in the post. But this got me thinking because uh, I think this is this is true. Like for instance, this guy here, the Fuji XT20. Um, we've got the 50 f/2 lens on here, and as you'll know, I really like the XT20. Um, not just the uh, the ergonomics and size, but I just like the uh, the uh, what's the word for that? Um, the styling, I guess. We're looking at that retro look, that kind of. Um, old rangefinder style almost. Uh, so anyways, XT20, big fan of it, uh, but it's very small and light. However, I think Kirk's got a point because I don't think I would want this camera, for instance, an XT30, um, to be any smaller because I think you do get to a size where, I, I mean, I don't have uh, large hands. I don't have, I wouldn't say small, maybe medium size, I guess, but um, you can see that the XT20 fits very nicely in the palm of my hand. Very easy for me to grab. It's small. Um, if the camera got much smaller, I think the dials become harder to deal with um, and more fiddly uh, as far as they're too small to use um, comfortably, let's say. But I'm curious to see what you guys think of that. Um, is there a camera? Have you bought a camera? Perhaps one of the small compacts, maybe something like the LX10 or the RX100. Now, I must say, I find those about as small as I'd want for a pocket camera. Um, they're just small enough that they're still a pocket camera, but they're still a usable size, not a whole lot smaller than the body on the X-T20, and I can still work the controls and dials nicely. However, I think if they got much smaller, I'd be finding it, it, it a little bit difficult, a little bit fiddly. Um, and that's where I find this post from Kirk interesting because I'm curious what you guys think. Um, have you bought a camera? Have you had an RX100 or something of that size and you found it too small? Uh, what about some of the other small pocket cameras where it's, it's kind of a little too small, a little too fiddly? I know, for instance, I'll often read uh, articles and things on my phone, and I do that a lot, but there's a lot of times I'm going to do something and I have to come back to the laptop with a larger screen and I can see things better. And a lot of times websites, for example, are displayed uh, differently on a, a full computer than they are on the mobile screen, and, and sometimes you miss features. But similarly in a camera, is it is the bo are there bodies that are too small? Are we getting to the point where some cameras are just too small for comfortable use? So I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about that. Have a read of Kirk's article if you want. He's got some interesting thoughts. Uh, that's over at the Visual Science Lab. And um, let me know in the comments below what you think about camera size. Is there a point, have we reached a point where things are too small to be usable, to be comfortably usable? Um, have you seen that on certain cameras? Have you bought certain cameras that you liked everything about the camera but it was too small? Have you seen cameras that have come out? Is the X-T20 too small for you? Would you prefer an X-T2? I'm just curious. Get the pulse of, of you guys. See what you think. Um, because I think, I think it is pertinent. I, as I said, I wouldn't want to see an X-T20 much smaller than this. Maybe perhaps lighter, although the X-T20 is pretty light too. I think we've hit the, the perfection of small and light with something like the X-T20. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts on it. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.